Welcome to my channel, fellow experts and potential future residents of Dubai. I'm going to do a series on moving to Dubai and what it's been like for me and my expectations and experiences. So do go and follow my page for more if it's something that you are looking to delve into a little bit more. So today we're going to be diving into the exciting world of expat life in this amazing city. So as an accountant who has moved here for purely tax saving reasons, I've experienced the ups and downs firsthand. So let's explore the pros and cons of living the expat dream life in Dubai. Let's start with the pros of actually living as an expat in Dubai. One of the biggest advantages is the tax friendly environment and the most common question that I get asked when helping clients set up a business in the UAE. A lot of people just can't understand how there is no, and I mean no income tax in the UAE. At the moment, you never know what happens. So Dubai does not impose income tax on individuals in the UAE. However, they have just introduced corporation tax, which is 9%. However, this is only on profits over 375,000 dirhams. That's qualifying profits. With these low tax amounts, it gives you a little bit more money in your pocket to experience what Dubai has to offer and invest money elsewhere, which is great. Speaking of which, Dubai is a melting pot of culture and vibrant cosmopolitan city. It really is wonderful to see so many nationalities together in one place. You will be able to find an amazing array of international cuisines, world-class shopping malls, luxurious resorts and breathtaking architecture, including the iconic Burj Khalifa, which everyone takes a picture of, plus all year round sunshine, which is just unbeatable, really. They actually make it rain out here. They actually pay to get it to rain, which is another story in itself. Cons of an expat life in Dubai. Now let's be a little bit real and talk about the cons as well. One of the challenges expats face is the high cost of living. So the whole view of Dubai is that it is this luxurious place, but it does come with a price tag. So it is essential to plan your finances carefully and budget accordingly. I have done a video on this to show you how much it costs and breaking those costs down slightly. So do go and watch this for a little bit more information and a cost by cost breakdown. Now, another consideration is the summer heat. While it is lovely having that heat all year round, in the summer months, it can get a bit hot. So be prepared for that insane heat and just plan some holidays around that. Having said that, everything here is air conditioned, so it doesn't really feel that hot. It's only when you step from your house to the car. And if you're going from the car to the school when you're doing the pickup for the kids, then you kind of feel it a little bit. However, having said that, in Dubai and in Abu Dhabi, there are a number of indoor activities, air conditioned escapes that you can keep cool and nice in. So beyond taxes and weather, let's talk about the lifestyle and the culture in Dubai. I can vouch for this as I have not experienced anything like this in the world in terms of safety and security. It really does provide a sense of peace of mind for a lot of its residents and families here. You can literally reserve a table with your laptop or your Hermes bag. It is very, very safe. You will find diverse communities here and Dubai's government is committed to fostering tolerance and inclusivity. In Saudi Art in Abu Dhabi, there is a mosque, a church and a synagogue right next to each other on the same road. Now, on the flip side, Dubai does have a different cultural landscape to many other Western countries. So it's important to be mindful of the local customs and the traditions, especially when it comes to your dress code, public behavior, and respecting the Islamic faith. So you will not see any drunks out on the streets of Abu Dhabi or Dubai. It just doesn't happen, but there are places, you know, we won't talk about that, but hidden, hidden away. The work-life balance and the career opportunities are crucial factors to consider here. So Dubai is a bustling business hub and it has a lot to offer in terms of employment prospects, particularly in sectors like finance, technology and hospitality. However, the fast paced environment may require some adjustments and the work culture can be a little bit demanding. Having said that though, Dubai's business side of things is not quite there in terms of the quality and the level of work. So there is a big gap for you guys to come in and fill that gap over here. If you have good developing businesses or good ideas, there's lots of opportunities out here in terms of actually getting good quality businesses here. Despite this, Dubai does provide a wide range of recreational activities to help you unwind and enjoy your downtime, which is great from the beautiful beaches and stunning desert landscapes to world-class sports facilities and entertainment venues there is always something to do and it's quite nice to take the kids out to a really nice horse riding place on the weekend. In the UK on the weekend, we would be visiting the family. However, here in Abu Dhabi, there's just no one here to actually visit on the weekend. So we just do something exciting for the kids and 
increase their environmental knowledge really, which is great. It's been really nice because you do get some quality time and creating some amazing memories with the kids, which is great. Otherwise, this just wouldn't have happened in the UK, mainly because of the cost of entertainment in the UK and the fact that in the income we generated, a lot of it was just going to taxes in Abu Dhabi. It's tax free. Just gives us that little bit of extra income so that we can actually enjoy it with the kids and do a little bit more. And there you have it, an overview of the pros and cons of life as a expat in Dubai. I understand the importance of making informed decisions and Dubai does have a lot to offer and it does blend a lot of opportunities. It has a lot of culture. It has a lot of different lifestyle changes that you could sort of benefit from. But weighing these up and taking account all of the pros and cons is really important. Just make sure that the move that you make is the right one for you and for your family. It was most definitely for us the right decision. However, we did choose to live in Abu Dhabi instead of Dubai, but this was um, personal ch choices and Dubai is just a bit too busy for us. And if you do want a little bit of a comparison, do put it in the comment down below and I will see if I can get one for you. So I hope this video has been helpful. Make sure you do hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content on living and thriving in Dubai. And remember, knowledge is power. So stay tuned for more informative videos to help you make those right decisions for yourself in terms of finances, business, expat experiences, and I wish you all the best. Hope to see you in my next one. Take care, bye.